I was curious about this jettison lawnmower beside my neighbor's shed. She explained that it didn't start and had been dead for over five years, but I'd be welcome to tinker with it. After a quick bath, I drained the old gasoline from one side. And the oil from the other. Now there is a drain plug underneath, but it was awfully corroded, so using the spout seemed more convenient this time. Next, I turn my attention to the spark plug. Sure, the plug didn't look great, but I noticed something much more interesting. The connector on the end of the boot had extensive corrosion, to the point it had difficulty even grabbing the spark plug's terminal. I used some brake cleaner to solubilize the damage and wire brush to scrape it away. Anticipating the worst, I pulled the spark plug and set the mower up to soak the piston with sea foam to hopefully break up any internal damage. After a couple hours, I dumped out the contents and pulled the motor over with the spark plug out to eject any remaining sea foam. With the new spark plug in, I noticed it still wouldn't grip the plug's terminal. So, I used a needle nose pliers to tighten the fitting. Much better. Replenish the fluids. The tension on the brake release seemed satisfactory. The linkage and spring seemed okay too. So I gave it three good squirting primes. She fired up first pull, but didn't hold in the cloud of combustion. I sprayed starter fluid in the carburetor with the airbox off, and she came to life again. With the engine warm, I trickled seafoam directly into the carburetor until the point where it almost floods out. It'll kick out white smoke, that's the sea foam, but the hope is that it will burn up some of that carbon. Continue doing this for about a third of the sea foam can. With the engine able to hum, now we can turn to the routine maintenance. Pull the boot off the spark plug and use a 14 millimeter socket to loosen the blade. I spray a bit of liquid wrench to make the job easier. Match the orientation of the new blade with the old one and tighten it on. Yeah, 
Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the airbox cover. Replace the dirty foam filter and reassemble. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, if you'd like to see more of these videos, click the subscribe button. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time. Fourteen millimeter socket.